for that. Got open. Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, turn down my TV volume. Else that shit is gonna reverb on the microphone. Something I should have done before I hit record. If I'm in this, I'm in this 100%. Nice, 11 hours. Uh, probably save more often. Uh, finished all the uh, ship exploration things in that 11 hours. Uh, also, oops, decided to change up my food. So, I'm using different food from now on. One that prevents status effects. That seems like the best food, like, by far. And uh, now I can just do ship expeditions in the zone that gives you the food for it. Instead of paying for that expensive-ass Mavo Curry. Only thing about it, the activation thing for it is, uh, <laughs> getting hit with the status effect. Wait, I got two status effects. I should have only been able to get one. Food should have activated after the first one. Oh, maybe it was still... It hasn't started using it as the auto. It'll be in the next fight. Let's start today with a fucking failure. Get wiped out. Just the range on these guys. Get out of that. Fuck you. Might need to turn off semi auto when I want to attack something specific that, you know, about to cast something. Real pain in the ass when the switch button doesn't work. Didn't even bring up the little uh, display of steps thing. Losing to basic battles. Run right into it. Good. Eleanor, you ready? Forget the pain and move. Twin whip. Quickness. Twin whip. Not in that. Down. 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 
Am I doing anything? Heal and attack a diversion and anything but standing there? Wow. Stood there and eventually died. I refuse to fall here. I'm useless. I need more life bottles. Check that I got the meal set right. I could have sworn I had it ready. Yeah. It changed. Why did it change? Set it to right here. Food's ready. It's nothing special. All right, I'll do the cooking. Be real quick. I think someone's supposed to make it better. Like, each person has specialties. I don't know what really that means. I don't know if that just means they get more EXP. Take a look. Gold. Vargas. So Magilu makes it best. Don't know what the specialties really mean. Try to find more on this. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, just experience. Stars seem to mean not a goddamn thing. Just amounts to a little extra. Alright, and cooking levels give bonuses. So let me look through the bonuses. I'll post them in... Well, I don't think anyone's in the Twitch yet. Yeah. Oh, one person. So I'll, I'll post them in there. If I remember, I'll post them on the YouTube video too, but... I won't remember. So, Magilu, who... Nullify water, art defense, poison reduction. Not really impressed with that. Eleanor minus fatigue, plus the focus, nullify wind damage. Lethesa nullifies non elemental, bonus to attack. Is in slow defense, earth nullification. Rokuro, art attack, burn, fire. Velvet, Stun, Max HP, uh, something does more than a thousand damage, it's reduced. Hmm. I think I like Lava Sets the most, because it has basic attack in there. And on top of that, the nullifying non-elemental, because non-elemental is the thing you're going to run into the most. Oh, 
How about curry is his specialty? So do Mabo curry All right. until I run out of the ingredients. Then, well, no, because I'm already maxed on that one. Thinking I boost his level doing that, but. Food's ready. Because you could just spam it. All right. Just to boost the level. I'm not gonna. With that chain, should I still avoid the Kraken? I don't think we have a chance! Oh. That was an intention fail, I didn't even know I was in critical condition. Their attacks don't really have impact. You don't feel like you're getting hit. Here as I was picking it up. Whew. I thought we were done for. Thank you. You're strong. I thought I was gonna get into a big battle because they're right next to each other. Kind of what I was going for, but I'll take an easy fight. It appears that we're finished here. My blondes. Wearing that. Burning speed. That wins. We will need to be extremely wary. So since Lapis had already got poison, they shouldn't be able to give me any status effects. Which means I actually get to keep my souls. Even when they both get me. I like getting the bonus BG, but I can't see another 
skill being anywhere near as good as the status effect uh, prevention thing. Most of the food effects are pretty fucking lame. Ooh, a reduction of 20 damage. Considering how much they hit for, yeah, that's nothing. How come I didn't get a finisher? And how did I get poisoned? Oh, the food effect is gone. It's temporary. Okay, that's not as good as I thought. Okay, we gotta reconsider. This is temporary reprieve from status effects, not a immunity. I really say that in the description, you know, prevents, you know, status effects for one minute or whatever. Didn't even seem like it was a minute, maybe 30 seconds. Double BG might actually be the best. Where in the world do you hide all of that paper? Here? And here. He's taking it all off! Right way. I think not. But I was on to something with that status effect food. Oh well. We will need to be extremely okay. wary. Why not? Why is it not? Fifth time's the charm. I get double status effect. The food effect is active. I see the symbol. That was tougher than I would have liked. Great. Oh, are we ready for this? See him. Almost got back attacked. I turned around at the last second there. Bang bang. I can't die here. I'll use my block button sometime, huh? 
And, uh, plenty of fish. I found my friend's baby mama today. I just made a profile on there today. And I had one a while ago, but it's like it's full of bots, so I got rid of it. And today, on a whim, I made a new one. And I got immediately messages from four different bots. Well, one was a scammer using copy and paste, not an actual bot. It was a person, but it was obviously not a normal person, and... I was playing around with them asking questions and I asked them what's the meaning of life and they sent me a copy and paste from a website that's like the first one that comes up when you put in what's the meaning of life on Google. I'm like, whoa, whoa, that was a coherent paragraph. That The syntax was actually proper English. You know, normally it's not proper syntax this whatsoever. just keeps going. Just don't step on it. Why not? It's just that. Yikes! That again. No, you, I know. Burn you your flesh. You forget uh -huh. this. Good point. You're gonna or get me back at that. I mean, although man, and now that you met Matt Clear, they were worn away. That to stay this? in ah! Fuck you. Ah. Why didn't you? We will need to be extremely wary. So yeah, that website fucking sucks. Okay, Cupid sucks, but plenty of fish is even worse. And I don't fuck with any of the phone app things, Tinder and all that. It's not my bad. It's too shallow. The websites are already too shallow. The, the phone shit, that's even worse. Come on, really? button. I think you're nowhere near that button. It serves me a little bit that that pops up. That's how I know that my X button is fucked. sleep since it's nocturnal how long are you going to keep on calling it a rhino stagros i don't know it's a new kind of beetle so it's going to be hard to tell if it's really a rhino or a stag you're asking a lot of questions bienfu do you like bugs duh i love rhinoceros and stag beetles both 
what guy doesn't find them fascinating? Mm. Right? So which kind of beetle do you think it is? Rhino or stag? Oh, that's a tough question. But guess what? Miss Mogilu taught me a surefire way to tell. I didn't know there was a way to tell. Yeah, but if I do it, you gotta name it after me, all right? Uh... Come on! What guy doesn't wish he had a cool bug named after himself, right? And besides, Miss Mogilu told me that this technique is so good that it's only fair to have a bug named after you in return. So what do you say, man to man? Come on, let's live the dream! Oh, all right. How can I say no to that? Besides, we all did work together to capture it anyway. Yay! Thanks, Laffy Set. All right, show me the bug, and I'll tell you what it is. Miss Mogilu says you need to open up its outer wings and get a good whiff of the thin underwings. Uh, I'm pretty sure I remember rhinoceros and stag beetles smelling really nasty under their wings. Is it really that bad? Why not find out for yourself? Uh, no thanks. I think I'll pass. Maybe you shouldn't do this after all, Bienfu. You probably just want to hog the name all to yourself. Well, too bad! A real man never goes back on his word. If it packs a mean punch, then it's a rhinoceros beetle. And if it smells really zesty, then it's a stag beetle. I don't know about this. Just let him do it, Laffy Set. He's already volunteered. I can do this? Just you watch! <laughs> <laughs> this smell is the most bad, bad thing that ever bad, bad in it! Whoa! He fainted with his eyes still open! Hey, wake up! Wake up, Bianfu! Miss Mogilu, as soon as I smelled it, my nose literally exploded. He looks like he's having a bad dream. So, is that zesty or pack a punch? <laughs> I spy with my little eyes a kiddo who's spying at my bewitching waist. Oh, sorry. I just couldn't help it. What are those books anyway? Oh, that's a great question. Since you asked, I'll reveal the secrets of my tomes just for you. On the right, I've got my household ledger in the back, and my magic encyclopedia in the front. That one I mostly use for oil blotting paper. What's oil blotting paper? It's a girl thing. The two on the left are my heavy book, which I use for flower pressings, and then my super pop-up book. A super pop-up book? When you open it, it pops out with the force of a raging river! When an enemy has me cornered, I can just open it up facing a nearby wall and pop! Instant getaway! The only downside is that it's a real pain to try to get closed again, so I haven't used it in years. What about the book right in front? That's actually Lair Cake. Whoa, really? Seared into its batter are precious bits of knowledge. Eating it is just as good for your brain as it is for your stomach. Wow, I had no idea that was possible. He's taking this so seriously, I almost feel bad. All of your books are so interesting, Moggy Lou. That's really cool. There's no end to your curiosity, is there? What do you say? Want to take a closer look? Boy, would I. If you really do, then say, Mogilu, I want to get to know you better. Mogilu, I want to get to know you better. All right, I accept. I'll reveal to you my most private secrets. Wow, so that's what's on the other side of these books. I wouldn't have ever guessed that. What the? What are you doing with Laffy Set? He said he wanted to see, so I'm showing him. You have no right to stand in the way of his desires. It's my job to protect him as his vessel, especially from someone so wicked as yourself. Also, what you're doing runs contrary to public decency, which is aren't supposed to be decent. These bindings with the locks on them. This style used to be really popular during the Meliodas dynasty. Now that I know you're such a bad influence for him, I'll be keeping a closer eye on you. If you can't learn to take it easy, nobody's ever gonna want to marry you, you know. Like you're a shining example of marriage material yourself. Hey, Mogilu, could you turn them over one more time? I want to see how the books attach to your belt. 
Yeah, sure. <sighs> hey, Mogilu. I was wondering about that book you have on your waist. The one you called your heavy book for flower pressings. Your curiosity truly knows no bounds, does it, kiddo? Okay, nobody else knows this, but since you're so interested, I'd hate to leave you hanging. My heavy book, the one I use for flower pressings, is none other than a collection of Bienfu's poetry. Bienfu likes to write poems? Yep. You'd never guess it, but he's actually just about the best Moloch poet around. Some people even call him the Great Norman Poet. Here, I'll read you my favorite one. If there is something unimportant happening to the East, I'm made to go there and back. If there is something unimportant happening to the West, I'm made to go there and back. I can never rest nor be at peace. Every day my life is a living hell. That's... heavy stuff. Isn't it? That's what makes it so good for pressing flowers! It's so wonderfully, oppressively heavy. Mogilu, your face has gone all sinister looking. Go home with someone and they don't have any books. Don't fuck them. Stop following me, creep. Plant looks suspicious. about it, Laffy said. Picking up on anything? Yeah, in the direction of the temple. The feeling's getting stronger now.
those teleporters in inconvenient locations. Why wouldn't it be right by the exit? Like, kinda close to the exit. Be back there, it should be up here. But right fucking here. Morning, kitten. Getting a little worried. She's snoring a lot lately. What's this? <laughs> a demon! The demon we heard about? Sounds like it's having fun. Then we'll use this distraction. It's the ocean! This was a place of worship for Amenoch, the water Empyrean. The ancients built this sanctuary underwater for the same reason that Eumacia's temples were built underground. But building this underwater couldn't have been easy. Aye. With the Earth temples, all they had to do was keep digging. Here, they had water to contend with. How did they do it? You can't split the sea like you can a log. They started by stacking giant stone blocks in the shallows, creating an enclosed space. Then they drained the water and expanded the enclosure. Once they had done that enough times and secured enough dry space, they were able to dig into the sea floor. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? The humans believe that by going through such great hardships to build these temples, they could show the depth of their devotion. Additionally, current research suggests the site of this temple once sat on the seacoast. What? Are you saying I'm wrong? No, I'm only reporting what I've read in academic journals. How would coastal ruins sink into the ocean? When the Empyreans began their slumber, the land shifted, and this temple was swallowed by the sea. Scholars were able to prove that the sand and the heavy stones formed an airtight seal around the structure. Later, people carved an undersea tunnel to connect to the temple, bringing it to its current state. Now that you mention it, I think I read that book too. Revised theories on ancient architecture, right? That's the one. Have you read it, Aizen? No. I only read the first edition. The problem with the stone enclosure theory is that each time you expand the enclosure, the innermost stones have to be carried out. Once that was pointed out as being too inefficient, alternate theories were developed. The revised edition has a number of competing theories. I highly recommend reading it. Uh, I will then. So, wait. Was that a complete rebuttal of Aizen's explanation? Th that was not my intention. Ah, it's okay. Archaeology is a continuous process of asking new questions and making new discoveries. Prevailing theories change all the time. I like What's that one guy who thinks anyway? the Sphinx is Let's really old. Going. Like, older than we think it is. I think his name's, uh... Robert something. Something with an S. Yeah, he thinks the Sphinx is like scout ship setting sail. I want to say twenty thousand years older than we previously thought. There's no Empyrean here, right, Eisen? If you're worried about it, why not flip that coin of his? Heads, no Empyrean. Tails, Empyrean Central. But it always comes up tails. Like I said before, these temples are nothing more than places of worship built by human hands. The current religion started when humans, fearful of natural forces began to worship four gods they called the Empyreans. If you're concerned about whether or not one is sleeping in these ruins, just remember that their very existence is only legend. Be that as it may, Enominat certainly exists. Aye. But I've never heard a single story of anyone actually seeing an Empyrean. Enominat must be a special case, then. Must be. I suppose so. If there were four more like him, and they were all trying to stop us, we'd be sunk. I can't disagree. Oh, considering I've played Zysteria, I've uh, met them. They exist. Yeah, 
guys are supposed to be knocked out. Just lights. Cosmetic. The fucking water temple levels are always a pain in the ass. Here you had a pain in the ass one too. Whoa, cool. Hello. Down already? Good start. Wow. Way to let me get up for a fucking second, huh? That calls for a break. Scout ship setting.